All right, we are in York at the Finders Keepers here. Now, yeah. I've never been before. This is my first time at the York Finders Keepers. Joss has been here before. Yes. So, this is all new to me, but we're going to find stuff. Boy, we're going to yeah. find stuff. I'm super excited. I think Stu's going to totally geek out over this. I, I, yeah, I threatened to pee my pants last time, didn't <laughs> I? All right, yeah, I, you can't take me out in public. I'm sorry. <laughs> We're going to have lots of fun. Um, we're going to head in here and see what we can find that we can flip for a profit. All right. We'll see you inside. See you inside. And she's off. She's already spotted something. Very pretty. Not very old. What did you find, Sue? Here. Isn't that pretty? It is it's Chinese, pretty. of course, but it's not very old. But here, look at that. Mm, right? All right, eight dollars. Jeez. This was fantastic. Just That's like the nice. other one. Here. And you know, this is how we know it's not very old. No food use. Right. <laughs> In days gone by, the Chinese did not care how many people they poisoned. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna start right here, right inside the door, because we usually find some treasures right here on this shelf. And I've actually already spotted something, so this is kind of just me talking about checking out the shelf, and really, I've already spotted them. Because, where did I see that? Oh, it was over here. <laughs> Hello, little mushroom. That is awesome. And it is, shoot. I'm one handed. Um, it looks like it's $3.95 for the little ceramic mushroom. And I'm taking that glaze. So we're going to grab this. This is our first item. Um, oh, I've got some planners here too. I kind of like, like the shape of that. It's $3.95. Wait, no, it's $3.36. And we got some shelves that come with it. Juliet would totally be digging those shelves. I think I'm gonna hold off and see what else we find before we load up on uh, green planners. Cause these are actually pretty common. They were florist pieces that, um, I mean, they were just, they were for arrangements and they were florist pieces. So they're pretty common. You can see that there's actually some more down here. Um, so we're going to hold off on those. Maybe if we don't find a whole lot of other stuff, we might come back to those. What is this? What does it say? How pottery works. Cambridge, Wisconsin. You guys can't see that. It's not focusing for you. There we go. 1990. I thought maybe it was going to be Aldrith, but it's not. So we're going to pass on that. All right, so I've got myself not filming when I really should be. Um, this caught my eye. It's just this old print, and it's marked ten dollars as is. The frame is in pretty rough shape, and I don't know if most of the. I guess most of this is on the, the uh, glass itself, but um, I thought it was pretty interesting. I love old architecture and I metal detect so I see old structures like this and they attract me for metal detecting and I guess just in general. <laughs> but it is marked 83 out of 500. It's called Old Barn and it's marked Lawson. Um, I'm not sure if it's a piece that I would really be interested in recently because um, it's just ugh, to, uh, to ship that would kind of suck. And we're just so far from opening a retail location that it would just sit for way too long. You know, versus somebody who could just come in here and buy that and really enjoy it. So, I don't know. It just caught my eye. I thought it was neat. Figured I'd share it with you guys. I've lost Sue. I don't know where Sue ended up. Um, but I'm just kind of cruising around here. I've got some really nice artwork in here. They usually do. We've got nice furniture, nice artwork, and it's all so reasonably priced. I think I've told you guys before, whenever Walter is ready to move out and get his own apartment, this is definitely where we're going to take him. This chair is actually really neat. I wonder if that's actually as old as it looks. Look at that. It's got some age. It's a 
looks like it's got some huge. <laughs> oh, I sent a picture of that to Andrew. That's Simba. Simba. I can get that. I found Simba. It's neat though. <laughs> gotcha. Oh. I wish that person. This guy is pretty cool. <laughs> well, 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 what do we have here? Owls. Oh, we found you. Yes, I was just looking at the... <laughs> yes. Have you found stuff? I've only found one piece so far. Only one piece? Him. Yes. Goodness oh, gracious. You, you are like I figured you'd be like case. loaded up. No, not yet. Goodness. Just like this guy behind you. This is kind of cool. It looks like his head is taped. He appears to have lost his head. So we're just going to let him rest for a little while. Mm. Did you discover the bedroom yet? Um, I think so. Ah. I discovered an exceptionally large vase in there. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I heard about that. Four dollars. We, we heard about that. Yeah. And I'm taking these. There you go. See? You're finding stuff. All right. I'm going to head over to the other side now. Let's see what I can find. All right. I need some stuff. Well, I have just spotted this vase in here. I like the looks of that. Kind of reminds me of Weller. How are we going to be able to get it open? Let's cover on the side. A little narrow there. Actually, you know what? I'm getting deja vu. I've looked at this before. I've looked at this before. Reminds me of the shop animal face we've had before in Weller. But the weight of it is just too much. And I don't know. In any case, I'm taking the design and the similarity, so we're going to take it with us. And a biscuit jar. You guys know I usually avoid just your average biscuit jars with flowers, but I like this one because it's a little bit different. It's not just your roses or pansies. It's it's a little bit different. It's banded and I don't know. They've got stems. I like that. So we're gonna get both of these these pieces. You know what? It pays to look in the cabinets. I was actually coming over here because I was expecting to find the stangle in here that we left the last time. I was going to see if it was still here, but we found some other treasures. All right, I was just walking by this. And um, what is what is the price on that? Looks to be $16.96. I was walking by it and I could just see the imperfections and the glass um kind of tell me how old it was and uh i don't know there's just something about that i don't know if you guys can see it on the camera i don't know if the camera's picking it up um we're at 17 dollars and i think i might grab it it just went down to 17 today, so it's reverse painted on glass. I don't know if we'd be able to ship it. I'm going to see how heavy it is and then decide, so stand by. How old that is. It's 
got some serious age. And I think we're gonna take it with us. Tee, there you are. All right, but before we bring our mirror up front, there was another piece that I noticed. I can squeeze through here. <laughs> Actually, right here, it's another, um, I think this is hand painted, but I cut on my eye because we are getting close to Easter, and obviously it is, it's hand painted. It's only $5. I just thought it was some nice Easter decor. And it's not, badly done so I think we're gonna do this there's two little bunnies and they're painting an egg and it looks like it's five dollars so we're gonna do this for five bucks so we're gonna bring these up front Okay, so last week when we were at the other Finders Keepers, they were telling me about some of the great stuff that they have here in the bid room at this Finders Keepers. So I'm here now. We're going to check out some of this great stuff. Um, I've already spotted a few things. Uh, <laughs> the way this works is you can either place a bid or you have an opportunity to buy it now at a price that they have already pre-decided. Um, so I can either buy it now and just undercut everyone else who's put on bids or I can bid it. Normally what I'll do is I'll just buy it outright. Uh, the reason for that is not because I'm trying to undercut anyone. It's because I live probably about an hour away and I can't just keep coming back to place another bid when other people have outbid me. Um, so I really just need to just buy it outright and just be done with it. So um, I'm not trying to, <laughs> trying to be nasty to anyone else. I'm just like, you know, if I'm going to commit to this, I just got to commit to it so um, there is probably one item that I will not be buying now and that is I think is this one they were talking about <laughs> yes the cloisonne swan <laughs> and the buy now price for that is a thousand dollars so that is not going to be a buy it now for me um, it is very nice very nice swan. That's not going to be a buy it now for me. Mm. <laughs> One of the um, buy it nows that I am tempted on is this piece right here. Um, now, unfortunately, this guy does have some issues with his beak. There is a repair here that was not the best repair in the world. There we go. Um, so he obviously, but he's not the best job in repairing his beak. But he's got some serious age to him. I mean, this, this fixture itself, I want to say he's probably in the like 1920s. So he's got some age to it. I'm digging this a lot. But um, this also really nice. The buy right now price on that is 200 And I can't really do much with that. But yeah, we're going to just kind of cruise around here and check out the bedroom. See what other pieces are here. And that's really nice. Obviously, I would never in a million years try to ship that. But it's a really nice piece. So let's walk around and see what they have. Gosh, I'm pretty sure I have this rug, which makes it really weird. I mean, it's bigger than that, but awkward at the same time. All right, um, got some Halloween stuff. I like Halloween stuff. Ten bucks. Just don't really feel like storing it until Halloween. Oh no, never mind, that's a deer. Got a carnival glass hen. Nice teapot. Maybe the bidding is done on that one. Oh wait, no, it's here. It's a $70 bite now. 
T-Rex. Got some nice stuff in here. Elite Works has that really heavy gold and I think it's Daughter I can't remember the actual names of the people associated with Elite Works I think one of them is Daughter D-O-T-T-E-R um, that's a nice little picture I'm not seeing any damage on it. I'm seeing some wear, but I can deal with wear. I would love to find the sugar bowl that goes with it, but I don't think that's gonna happen. It's probably why it's here. So we're gonna grab that. Wait, what is the price? We can look at the price. It's five dollars. Mm. Maybe we'll find a sugar bowl in here. This is another creamer. Kind of cute though. Not what we're looking for. a set of these recently and it is attributed to Bartlett Collins. I actually had the, uh, the yellow set. Obviously this is just white for $4, but a set of these sells for like $20. So maybe somebody lost their creamer and needs a replacement. Uh, you can see a lot of the gold is worn off of it, but you know, if they're looking for a replacement, I've got it. So we're gonna grab this one as well. Hello, little puppy dog. <laughs> it's a cute little puppy. And it's definitely a pin cushion at the same time. So we're gonna grab him. He is seven. He is also a basset hound, I believe. I don't know, is he a dachshund? I'm pretty sure he's a basset. We're gonna grab the basket. And what I was actually looking at was this, and I had a little glance up and found him. Just a little uh, picture, but I'm not really, it's, it's just kind of plain, so we're gonna leave that. I'm running out of hands to carry my coffee. You guys can't see it, but I'm holding my camera, the two creamers, and now I'm carrying a basket as well. So, yes, we have to here. Is that just regular? Yeah, it's pretty plain. I'd call that regular. Oh, oh, this genetic is hiding behind <laughs> This is all flash and it doesn't sell very well. So we're going to leave it. Alright, I just came over by the window to check out this bowl. And as I was panning this direction, I spotted something. And I don't know if you guys can see it as well. We're just gonna move you on over here. And see what we've got here. This is $15. Um, this is mm, mm, Sun and Moon, I believe. I'm always wrong. I always see it wrong. We've sold some larger versions of this. Unfortunately, I was actually really surprised when I really sold the larger versions. They didn't actually sell for a ton of money. I think they sold for like $25, $30. This is a smaller version. They got it marked for $15. I would, in my head, think that that's probably what it's worth, considering the larger versions didn't sell for very much. Um, but it's, it's pretty cool to just have spotted it hiding there with a bush in it <laughs> I'm gonna leave it here for you guys to come and get it's 
exactly the very tall blonde I was looking for. This one right here? That one right there. Oh, behind the camera? Come with me. <laughs> Yes, I already know it's modern. It's got some age to it, though. Really, 70s? 50s? What do you think? No, if it was 50s, it would have a different mark because it's rose medallion, so... Why are you looking at me How like... How old is it? I would have said 70s. Is it older mm. than me? Am I wrong? I don't know the mark. What do you think? I mean, we're looking at the bottom. Yeah. Here's the thing. Rose Medallion that came out between the end of the Second World War and like the 1980s was all made in Japan, decorated in Hong Kong, sometimes Macau. Mm -hmm. Didn't have China marks. So it's either very new or older. I just don't know. It doesn't strike me as being very old. It doesn't strike me as being very old either. It's filthy. It is. And it's got a lot of nice grunge dirt on it. Like, you know, I didn't happen yesterday yeah. dirt. So what do you think? Are you going to buy it? Well, no, but I'm thinking about putting a bid on it. The buy it now price is $80. And I'm not willing put that much on something if I don't know the mark. When does it end? I don't know. Let's find out. Because we are an hour from home. On the other hand, you come here from time to time, so what's the big deal? That is true. And get in there. We can get a video out of it. Alright, when does it end? When does it end? It ends when? February 27th. Hmm. So That's like two weeks. Yeah, something like that. I don't know. What do you think? Um, I'm looking for your opinion. How much is it at? 40? It's at 40 bucks already. All right, then don't. Thank you. <laughs> Action. All right. <laughs> for all those of you who think that we are just so together and so organized, <laughs> Well, Jocelyn lost her phone. I lost my phone. Which we found. Yes. And then I lost my coffee, mm -hmm. which we found. Yes. We're in the car safely. We got the <laughs> keys. We're going to make it home. Hopefully. But believe me, it was a close call there. It was. It was. I was like, I was not panicked yet, but I was We're like. Getting close. Getting close. I'm walking around the store looking for my phone, and then it ended up being in the car. So it was just, it was one of it those. It wasn't things. just in the car. It was hidden in the it car. It was hidden. It was like down <laughs> in between the seat and the car. Soul. Oh, what are those days? Yes. But anyway, how did you enjoy your first experience at oh, Finders Keepers I, I liked West? It. At first, I thought, oh, I'm not finding anything. And then suddenly things just started showing up. You really have to look because yeah. they're hidden. They're they like are. hidden in little looks and crannies. It's part of the fun. Well, yes. <laughs> and I'm certainly very pleased with everything I got. I took pictures of the things that I left behind, mm -hmm. too. Awesome. So that, you know, we can talk about that as awesome. well. All right. All right. So make sure you go check out Sue's channel, Sue Me, where she talks about everything that she got because we didn't show it all. Um, and she also talks about the stuff she left behind. She'll be doing a video on that. Her link is down in the description, as always. And uh, we're going to get out of here. We're going to probably go hit the Goodwill. And we will see you guys tomorrow. Later. All right. Bye-bye. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that other people might overlook.